I think it's time I made another video about OpenKJ. So this time I'm going to show quickly how I set it up. First of all, before I do, I'll show you my um, hard drive, which contains everything for my karaoke. Background there, folder labelled as background, and that contains videos, load of videos, which I can use as background videos. Here we've got a folder just with an image which I can use as a background to the uh, the screens that are shown around the bar if I choose to use it. Here FX this folder contains mp3 files and only mp3 files which are sound effects and here karaoke is a main data uh, karaoke songs. If you click on this you've got all the subfolders divided zoom, cloud, disney, caravan whatever so that's that's the setup so now we'll start OpenKJ and here's OpenKJ and this is version 167 and it's telling me here that there's a new version out which I've not uh, installed yet right so it's doing absolutely nothing no no break music no nothing so we'll start it off now we'll, we'll set it up from scratch click on black break music manage break database and we're going to add um, add a, uh, a music path so we'll delete that one we don't want to delete that going to add and here my passport background open that's update getting list of files in background there we are update completed close that so now we're going to break music there is our background music all the folders but it still won't do anything because we've got to create a playlist so we decide what we're going to have on the playlist so we'll have that we'll put, put a few on one two three four five there there we've got a playlist now and so if we now close open kj down and we start it up again open kj and we'll see what happens and here we are we've now got background music The effect, the sound effects button is set up in a similar way, and that just happens to be applause, which you can uh, install. You just browse to it in the same way as I browse to these, and uh, add applause. So this background music will carry on all the time now, fading in and out. An interesting feature with the background music is that you can set the level of it here, the volume of it independently of the actual karaoke music so you can have your karaoke, karaoke songs playing at a different level to the background music so we've got that going now every time we start up we'll have continuous video showing um, from that folder so the next thing to set up is of course the karaoke so karaoke manage karaoke database and we do it in the same way click on add and we browse to where they are, my passport, karaoke, OK. And it wants to know how it's laid out, um, song ID, artist title, or title artist or whatever. Mine are all set up with the, the uh, artist and then the title of the song. Click on OK and, and uh, update. and now it will update oh I should have highlighted the one I want to update update here we go database update in progress and now it will go through all those and find the uh, 
the songs and add them to the list. This is going to take a little while of course because there's quite a lot of songs in this database. So we'll hit pause and I shall come back in a few minutes when it's, uh, when it's all updated. Oh, well that didn't take very long, about 10 minutes and we've got this message database update complete and background music has continued playing all the time uninterrupted click on OK close that and we should now have a, a song list and here they are here's the, the songs so now um, we have to start up with the singer so unlike other systems before you enter anything you have to have a singer because every song is uh, assigned to a singer so here with a little symbol there a picture of a person with a plus sign click on that and you add a singer's name so add my name Ken OK so that's the first singer and if we have the other screens turned on all around the room which you would normally um, you can have a, a ticker it's optional whether you have it on or off but you can have a ticker and it can have the singers names uh, on the rotation shown around the bar but uh, that's for that's for another day so we've got a singer highlight the singer and find a song home win and here we've got the song Andy Williams home loving man double click on it and it's now there in the allocation for singer Ken to sing but we, we're not done yet because he wants it a key change so we can either use the key change here when it's playing which applies to everything on the system or we can right click on it and set a key change so we'll set a key change of down two okay so now that is programmed in that when that song comes up on the system to be uh, played for Ken it will play two semitones down and if we want to have a look at it we can preview it here and, and here's the preview so we can be looking at the preview while the top right hand screen which is the one that's going around the, all the, uh, the other screens around the bar is still functioning so it's a preview and when we're ready to sing it, we'll add, an, we'll add, a, add another singer just to demonstrate it. We'll add another singer's name here, Bob. Another singer's name. So we've now, we now got two singers in the rotor and we can just give him a song. It doesn't really matter what, but he's highlighted there. Give him a song and, uh, and he's got that. Well, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. I hadn't highlighted him. It was still on Ken, wasn't it? So Ken didn't want to sing that one. Remove that one. Yeah. Bob is singing this. So Bob's singing that song there, and Ken is singing that song. So when we're ready for whichever sing we want, well, Ken is the, is the top of the list. Just click on him. The background music will fade out and that song will come on background music faded and now we've got the uh, karaoke song come which Ken has chosen and while that's while he's singing he's given us a ticket for his next song which is as it happens to be Jingle Bells so while he's carrying on we can add another single Jingle Bells now Jingle Bells there and that's his next song set up for next time he comes round in the rotor we're all ready for him so he's singing this song then when it's when it stops music fades out background music comes on and when we're ready we can double click on Bob and his song will come up if we wanted we could double click on Bob now and it would sit warning to something something already being sung but we'll say yes go to it and it will switch to Bob's song and he will change in the rotor and here's Bob's song come up um, and then when, when we're ready um, click on Ken and this song comes up it's as simple as that okay 
that should do for now that shows you how simple it is to get this system started close it down get rid of it and I'll put another video up when I get round to it showing you a little bit more of the features